Hello, this is Mark Lind with Eris Corporation. Today we're going to take a look at the failure mode and effects analysis capabilities in the Eris Innovator system. Right now we're logged in to the secure Eris Innovator system. Uh, we're in a web browser, but it doesn't look like a web browser. We have the capabilities of an enterprise application. Uh, we're looking at the failure mode and effects analysis here for the DFEMA or design FEMA. And you can see we have a uh, several of them in process right now. I'm going to take a look here at uh, standard DFEMA in the system and it uh, looks like we're doing some work on a design FEMA. We have all of the header information. These are controlled documents and they're under revision control. You can see this one is at revision A. Uh, also, you can classify the FEMA depending on what level it is, whether it's at the system level, subsystem, or component. This is at the system level. And there's other related information uh, related to the product and who's responsible for this FEMA, uh, as well as the team associated. Uh, now, you can see the failure mode and effects analysis. Uh, so failure mode, effects, the severity, the cause, the occurrence, prevention. As I scroll across here, the detection, the probability of detection, and then the risk priority number is a calculation of the severity, occurrence, and uh, detection. You also have the uh, capability for associated libraries here. So any of these uh, failure modes uh, can be part of a library of different failure modes that I can assign for standardization or I can add uh, individual uh, specifics as needed. I also have the ability to uh, identify here the different critical characteristics that I'm going to be uh, defining the failure mode for uh, so that I can select for a given uh, property here on the part and then define the, the effects and causes. Uh, now, I also have the ability to assign action items if the RPN is uh, too high, uh, which gives me the ability to identify who is responsible here and uh, select from uh, uh, the person I want to assign, target date, actual date, and then the action taken and what that does ultimately to the severity occurrence and detection, reducing the RPN. So it may be a redesign if needed uh, to do so, so that I can mitigate the risk before it gets into production. Now if I look at the P FEMA, what I see is uh, not only all of the relevant information, but also the process flow diagram and the control plan. And all three of these documents are linked together so that as I add a line item to any one of them, uh, I can see that they is automatically added to the others, and this is the benefit of a database-driven system. And no other system on the market can do this. Uh, so it ensures that the uh, different characteristics that are being worked on are uh, continuously synchronized and that the risk is identified and mitigated across the different uh, documents here. I also am able to uh, manage the uh, different output uh, classifications here so that I can see in the libraries uh, uh, the place where I can put either standardized failure modes or affect any of these three dots within the brackets means that I have a library associated with it and means that I can have a pick list that I can add to over time. So when I uncover reliability issues through rel testing or issues in the field or customer complaints, I can add them to the library and organize them by product family so that uh, the next product design will have those lessons learned so that I can avoid risks in the future and, and mitigate uh, potential liability or warranty claims. Uh, nobody else on the market is able to do this because uh, other systems are not database driven and linked in the same way that Eris Innovator is. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, these are also tied into the Bill of Materials and the associated new product program for APQP compliance and PPAP uh, deliverable compliance. Uh, but we'll take a look at that on a future session. And remember, you can download the software and use it at any time for no charge at www.eris.com. Uh, thank you.